Congratulations. Don't say anything crazy. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm so I, I'm such a fan of yours, and and you're so amazing in this movie. Congratulations. Thank you. Very, I mean, you've very been much. working a Did long it. time. I have, because I'm very old. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I am. Well, it doesn't matter how old you are. You've done a lot of movies, and this is your first nomination, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely extraordinary. I never thought, I've never been nominated or awarded anything in my whole life. It's, you know, it's a majority of actors' life. 99% of us never, never have that happen. Right. So when it happens, it's a big deal. I'm not cynical about it. I'm absolutely pumped. Yeah, you should be. That's <laughs> yeah. great. That's so great. Thank you. Um, so you posted a video the morning of the nominations <laughs> in front of your, so, I mean, it really, it got a lot of pickup. Yeah, I did. I, normally on my Twitter feed, I, you know, I'd get something, get about 400 likes or whatever, and this thing went 3.4 million people viral. <laughs> so. Because it was your first apartment, is that right? Yeah, it was one of those that you can reach out and touch both walls with your hand yeah, like that. Right, I've been in one of those. <laughs> you have. In San Francisco, I had something like that. Right, but you now own 74 houses, don't you? Yes, exactly, <laughs> yes. Yeah. 60. Um, <laughs> so I, I think, I hope most people have seen it by now, but just in case, and they should see it if you haven't seen it. Explain what the movie is about. It's a real. It's a true story. It is. It's a true story. Lee Israel and uh, was a, a fairly successful writer in the '90s, uh, '80s, and '90s in New York City. Fell on hard times. Was not selling books anymore. Couldn't get hired. It was a challenging personality. Could kind of not get along. And then so she starts forging these uh, literary. Uh, letters from Noel Coward and Dorothy Parker. And then we, uh, an unlikely pair, uh, we meet at a bar at Julius's. And Take it away. Yeah. <laughs> and start sending the letters, and then yes. we get caught. And we do get caught. The yeah. FBI comes in, they get caught. His character sells me out. Yeah. But we've stayed friends in real life. <laughs> so now, did y'all know each other before the movie? No. no we we didn't. I mean, I knew who he, I knew he was. I'd right. seen. I'd heard of her. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> No, we met on a Friday in New York uh, two years ago in January, and we read through all our scenes for a couple of hours, and then we started working on the Monday. And did you have chemistry right away? Because it's so great in this movie. Oh, thank you. No, it was very difficult. I hated her. Yeah. yeah. She's difficult to work yeah, with. She is. Very, yeah. She never knows her lines either. Oh, God. Yeah. No. And when he leans in, I can't hear. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did. We like because it was nerve wracking. Because you think, well, we're we're going to start shooting in 48 hours, yeah. and you like we could have really not gotten along, and boy, that would have been super awkward. Um, and I think right away we just kind of clicked and it went on and he was, I thought, he, I thought you were going to be such a pro, first of all, I didn't know you're from Swaziland, yeah. and even though you are British too, but like I thought he was going to be so proper and, and very serious. And so I, I was like, I'm also going to be proper and yeah. I guess very from <laughs> Illinois, but I was like all prepared to be like, and hello to you. <laughs> And it's like he was, you were weird and funny and you were smelling things right away. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. to smell things. Am I allowed to smell you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. He's like a bloodhound. Oh, thank you. OK, I'll remember that always. What, but what? He'll, smell, he'll smell something across the room and be like, oh, and then go over there, smell it. I'm wearing yours. Can you tell? Yes, I can. We both wear it all the time. But he, you smelled an L. I knew, I knew we were friends forever because within the first hour, you smelled all four walls of an elevator. And I thought, I like them. <laughs> I need to hear more about this. Um, <laughs> we're going to take a break. I need to find out more about this. We'll be back. <laughs> Another thing that I need to know is this Barbara Streisand story. <laughs> so she, you're a huge fan of hers. Mm -hmm. But you, it's not like you haven't met her before. Yeah, I'm, I met her in 1990 when I was doing a movie here called The Player. But uh, I, well, when I was growing up in Swaziland, which is the smallest country in, in, in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, I'd read that in 1972, when I was 14 years old, that she was having love life problems with Ryan O'Neill and she didn't like her fame. So I wrote her this letter saying, Dear Barbara Streisand, please come to Swaziland. We'll have a lo lovely house. Nobody will know who you are here. Um, and you can come and stay with us for, f for two weeks or however long you want. Um, and then put a Shakespeare quote at the end of it to try and make it sound more grown up. Anyway, she never obviously got this letter. And I then drove up, I had a day off the other day, and I went up to Malibu and just beyond where, where she lives. And uh, my wife said to me, why are we going here? We don't know anybody here. And I said, well, we're, we're just going to park here. And she said, <laughs> oh she said, why are we here? And I said, well, Barbara Streisand's gate. She said, no, you're going to be arrested for this. You, you know, <laughs> you're, you're insane. 
<laughs> and uh, so I got out and I said, no, I'm staying in the car. So I got out, <laughs> pressed the buzzer, pressed it, hello. And uh, I said, well, I'm here and I've been Oscar nominated. Uh, <laughs> may I take a selfie outside the gate? <laughs> and I thought, she said, hold on. So somebody came out and was a security person. I said, am I allowed to take a photograph outside the gate? Because, you know, I've been a lifelong fan. I said, this letter 47 years ago. And he said, what company are you from? I said, not, not from a company. And he said, OK, you can take it because it's, you know, it's a public area. You, we have no jurisdiction over this. So, but thanks for asking. So I did. I posted it with a copy of this letter on Twitter. And 24 hours later, I kid you not, I got a direct reply from the lady herself. <laughs> and it undid me. I just crinkled up and I was... 47 years later, it was an unbelievable moment for me. That's amazing. <laughs> what a... I love that. That's, when, he, when he came out, he was like, did you, did you talk to Barbara? Did she see the movie? And I'm like, I and asking her if she saw her movie. I was like, I don't casually call her. I don't call her. I mean, I like, you know. All right, well, she's watching this, I'm sure, and she will call you. We, I'm sure Barbara <laughs> will call you. We'll get you, we'll get her in touch with you. It's <laughs> called Can You Ever Forgive Me? It's in theaters now. We'll be right back.